Welcome back guys, during the past week a lot of people asked me when will the rarest item the Oxesas Helm of Darkness finally return in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In order to understand why this helmet is so special you have to understand that there are different classes of item types in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. There are normal items which have only the regular engravings which you can loot, which you can find at blacksmith and you can loot and find them every day, there's nothing special about them. Then there's a second class of items which are unique items. Those items can be usually acquired from certain quests and they contain an engraving that can normally not be found on that item type. You can only get that engraving on that item type when you get the item from the quest. A very popular example for that are the stolen isobracers which have 30% crit chance in total on the arms alone and it is only available when you do a certain quest in the third episode of the Atlantis DLC. Other well known items are of course the Spartan Javelin from the base game which has melee resistance on a melee weapon which is also not possible or the copycat sword with 10% crit chance on a melee weapon. Those engravings can normally not occur on any normal item which you get from looting or blacksmith. You can only get them when you do these quests. But compared to the next two categories they are really easy to get. If you missed them everything you have to do is start a new game plus, do the quest again and then you can collect all these items very easily. I've made two videos on how to get all those unique quest items and you should definitely check them out. However there's another type of items which you can only get when you buy Olympian gifts at Zargon's shop. The Olympian gifts are not randomized, in fact there is a pool of around 700 items which you get randomly when you buy an Olympian gift. That also includes all the shop items. But there are some epic items which are truly unique. For example the bandit bow with assassin damage, 10% crit chance and critical damage. I just recently got it after 2 years. And then we also have the dark steel mask, another helmet with 100% crit damage which is also incredibly unique. Whenever you buy an Olympian gift you have a chance to get these items, but there is no other chance to get them. And then finally there's a fourth group of items. These items are connected to the weekly mercenaries and ship battles you have to do for the Orichalcom quests. Normally these items are nothing special, but there is exactly one item which is the Oxesas Helm of Darkness which is also a unique item and it has melee resistance on helmet which is also not possible to get normally. And the mercenary who drops that item which is Oxesia the spawn of chaos only returns every 42 weeks. Which means you can only get this item once every year. And that makes it the most unique item and the rarest item in the entire game. And on April 27, 2021 you will have the only chance this year to get this item again. So how do we know the exact return date of that specific mercenary? Well the answer is very simple, because there are only 21 mercenaries which return in an eternal cycle and they are always in the same order. This is a full list of all the 21 mercenaries with all their names and they will always return in that order. So whenever you want to know when Oxesia is returning, just check out the last mercenary you got from the weekly quest and then count from that mercenary. For example on March the 30th we had Nestor and that was exactly two mercenaries before Oxesia. So we have to count four weeks from Nestor, which will be exactly on April the 27th. That is a Tuesday and on that Tuesday the new weekly quest start with Oxesia the spawn of chaos. Next week on April 13th, which is also a Tuesday, we will have Talia the tail on hand. That is exactly one mercenary or two weeks before Oxesia the spawn of chaos will return. So April 27th will be the correct date for Oxesia's return and for the helm of darkness. In order to get the helmet on April 27th you have to go to a message board in one of your cities and accept the weekly mercenary contract. When you hunt down the mercenary and kill her, you will get the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness with 30% melee resistance, which is a total awesome item. In order to understand why it is so special, I've attached another video for you which explains how you can get completely invincible by using that helmet. To understand why you are able to get invincible with this helmet, you have to understand how resistances work in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In total there are three resistance types, melee resistance, ranged resistance and elemental resistance. Normally you can only engrave all these resistances on certain armor or gear pieces. 
For melee resistance, this is only possible on the arms on the belt. And then on the torso, you can add another legendary engraving that gives you 15%. So 30 plus 30 plus 15 is 75. And then you can add 15% melee resistance from your mastery perks. That will give you 90% melee resistance in general. But we can get past that. With the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness, you are able to get another 30% melee resistance on the helmet. And that changes everything because then we have 90% from the helmet, from the arms, from the belt and with the engraving from the torso or when you use that 15% from the masteries, you are able to get over 100%. And once you reach 100% resistance of any kind of type, you no longer get any damage from that type. So when you have 100% melee resistance, you are completely invincible against melee attacks. And since melee resistance account for more than 90% of all damage of all hits in the game, it literally makes you invincible. But of course, it is not really invincible because you still take damage from ranged or from elemental attacks. But to be fair, only every 10th enemy in the game is an Athenian archer. And if you are in a Spartan area, there will be no archers at all. So it makes you really, really strong. Using this in one of your builds, together with all the melee resistance engravings will make a nightmare a cakewalk for you. There are also two alternatives which also can make you invincible in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. One of it is by using the legendary Greek hero set. By using the legendary Greek hero set you will also be 100% resistant against any melee attacks, but you will not have 100% crit chance, you will also not have a lot of damage. So using the legendary Greek hero set is really not a good option and I do not recommend doing it. But there is another option that is quite okay and it is the Spartan Javelin. The Spartan Javelin is the only melee weapon in the game which has melee resistance. In fact, it is only one of two items with the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness which have melee resistance on an irregular spot. So when you use the Spartan Javelin, you will have 30% melee resistance from the spear, you will have 30% melee resistance from the arms and from the belt, and then you can put 15% melee resistance as a legendary engraving on the torso or use your mastery perks instead. Check out the video about the items everybody missed and there you can find an explanation how to find the Spartan Javelin. Both of these unique items, the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness and the Spartan Javelin have pros and cons. For example, the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness comes with a damage with dagger engraving. So that is a really, really big setback. Uh, unfortunately, it would have been great if it had critical damage, but um, so it is predetermined to be used in a dagger build and I will also show you the coolest dagger build I have made at the end of the video. But that shouldn't prevent you from using it with other weapons as well. In fact you can use it with any double weapons of any type. You can equip two blunts, two daggers, two staffs and you can simply engrave the damage with that weapon type on the weapons itself. So you can just ignore that it has a damage with daggers engraving and just put it in a hammer build, put it in a staff build, in whatever build you want and it will still be a fantastic build. I have done a couple of them and you will see that it's absolutely amazing. You should definitely check out the 12 million hammer build at the end of the video, it's one of my favorites. When it comes to the Spartan Javelin, the downsides of this item are obviously that it is a spear and when you want to use other weapons than spares, you will have one weapon slot blocked with the spear. So you will not have the damage with your weapon type when you want to use swords for example. You are not able to engrave it on the Spartan Javelin. It's not possible to engrave damage with swords on another weapon type. So in general when you have a spear build you can safely use the Spartan Javelin in a spear build to become 100% melee resistance and uh, for any other weapon type, definitely use the Oxesia's Helm of Darkness. So I hope you don't mind the older part of this video. I hope you still like it. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.